that take the water in that waterfall. At the top of the waterfall, it's got something called gravitational potential energy, which is the energy it possesses due to its height above the Earth's surface. See, if I scoop some water out of the river into this beaker, then I'd have to do work to carry it up to the top of the waterfall. I'd have to expend energy to get it up there so it would have that energy as gravitational potential. I can even do the sums for you. Half a litre of water has a mass of half a kilogram. Multiply by the height, so that's about five metres, and the acceleration due to gravity is about 10 metres per second squared. So that's half times five times 10 is uh, 25 joules. So I'd have to put in 25 joules to carry this water to the top of the waterfall. Then, if I emptied it over the top of the waterfall, then all that gravitational potential energy will be transformed into other types of energy. It's sound, which is pressure waves in the air. There's the energy of the waves in the river. And there's heat, so it'll be a bit hotter down there because the water's cascading into the pool at the foot of the waterfall. But a key thing is, energy is conserved. It's not created or destroyed. So because energy is conserved, if I were to add up all the energy in the water waves, all the energy in the sound waves, all the heat energy at the bottom of the pool, then I would find that it would be precisely equal to the gravitational potential energy at the top of the falls. What's true for the waterfall is true for everything in the universe. It's a fundamental law of nature known as the first law of thermodynamics. And the fact that energy is neither created nor destroyed has a profound implication. It means energy is eternal. The energy that's here now has always been here and the story of the evolution of the universe is just the story of the transformation of that energy from one form to another, from the origin of the first galaxies to the ignition of the first stars and the formation of the first planets.